dear students welcome to abhi online classes today we will discuss how to find particular integral when q is equal to e power ax into v where v is the function of x in the chapter linear differential equations with constant coefficients particular integral is equal to 1 by f of d into e power ax into v we have to replace d by d plus a by bringing out e power ax outside this operator 1 by f of d so e power ax into 1 by f of in place of d we must write d plus a into v now we have to proceed if it is sin x d square is replaced by minus a square if it is a function of x we have to take out the lowest degree term as common and then express it in the form of either 1 plus x whole power minus 1 or 1 minus x whole power minus 1 we proceed according to this uh, function either it is a sin x or it is a function x power m now we'll see one problem solve d square minus 2d plus 5 into y is equal to e power 2x into sin x this is the given differential equation we take this as equation 1 auxiliary equation is m square minus 2m plus 5 equal to 0 a is equal to 1 this is a quadratic equation in m a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 2 and c is equal to 5 m is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a m is equal to minus of minus 2 plus or minus root of Minus two whole square minus four into one into five by two into one. Two plus or minus root of four minus twenty by two. Two plus or minus root of minus sixteen by two. M is equal to two plus or minus root of sixteen is four and root of minus one is i by two. Taking two as common, one plus or minus two i by two, cancel two. We are getting complex roots. They always occur in pairs. So therefore, complementary function y c is equal to e power alpha x. Here alpha is one. C one cos beta beta is two. C one cos beta x plus C two sine beta x beta is replaced by two. This is the complementary function. Now we find out particular integral. Y p is equal to one by f of d into q. One by here f of d is d square minus two d plus five, and q is e power two x into sine x. Now replace d by d plus two. And bring this e power 2x outside this operator, 1 by f of d. E power 2x into 1 by d plus 2 whole square minus 2 into d plus 2 plus 5 into sine x. Expand a plus b whole square. E power 2x into 1 by d square plus 4d plus 4 minus 2d minus 4 plus 5. Into sine x plus four and minus four cancel. E power two x into one by d square plus two d plus five into sine x. So according the formula, d square is replaced by minus a square. Here a is one, therefore d square is replaced by minus one. Y p is equal to e power 2x into 1 by minus 1 plus 2d plus 5 into sin x e power 2x into 1 by 2d plus 4 into sin x now we can do as take 2 as common e power 2x by 2 into 1 by d plus 2 into sin x e power 2x by 2 into 1 by d plus 2 Into d minus two by d minus two, rationalizing the denominator. E power two x by two into one by d square minus four 
into d minus 2 into sin x. Again, we replace d square by minus a square. Here a is 1. So, replace d square by minus 1. e power 2x by 2 into 1 by minus 1 minus 4 d minus 2 into sin x. e power 2x by 2 into 1 by minus 5 d minus 2 into sin x e power 2x by minus 10 derivative of sin x is cos x minus 2 into sin x this is equal to minus 1 by 10 into e power 2x into cos x minus 2 sin x this is the particular integral therefore complete solution y is equal to yc plus yp e power x into c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x is the complementary function now we got particular integral minus 1 by 10 into e power 2x into cos x minus 2 sin x this is yc and this is yp so this is the complete solution of this differential equation now we shall see one more problem solve d square plus 2d plus 2 into y is equal to x into e power x this is the given differential equation auxiliary equation is m square plus 2m plus 2 equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation in m a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 2. Now we find out m values. m is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. m is equal to minus 2 plus or minus root of 2 square minus 4 into a is 1, c is 2 by 2 into 1. Therefore m is equal to minus 2 plus or minus root of 4 minus 8 by 2. m is equal to minus 2 plus or minus root of minus 4 by 2. m is equal to minus 2 plus or minus root 4 is 2 and root of minus 1 is i. Taking 2 as common minus 1 plus or minus i by 2. In this problem also we got uh, complex roots. They always occur in pairs. Therefore complementary function yc is equal to e power alpha alpha here is minus 1 alpha x c1 cos beta x beta is 1 plus c2 sin beta x beta is 1 so yc complementary function is e power minus x c1 cos x plus c2 sin x this is the complementary function now we find particular integral yp is equal to 1 by f of d into q 1 by in this problem, f of d is d square plus 2d plus 2 and q x into e power x. According to the procedure, we have to replace a d by d plus a. Here a is 1. So d is replaced by d plus 1 and we bring out this e power x outside this operator 1 by f of d. So e power x into 1 by d plus 1 whole square plus 2 into d plus 1 plus 2 into x e power x into 1 by we expand d square plus 2d plus 1 plus 2d plus 2 plus 2 e power x into 1 by d square plus 4d plus 5 2d plus 2d 4d 2 plus 2 plus 1, 5 into x. According to the procedure, x power m method, we have to take out the lowest degree term as common. Here in these, among these three terms, uh, lowest degree term is 5. So we must take 5 as common. 1 plus d square plus 4d by 5 into x. e power x by 5 into 1 plus d square plus 4d plus 5 whole power minus 1. We bring this to the numerator into x. 
now we expand this by using binomial theorem we know the formula is 1 plus x whole power minus 1 binomial expansion is 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube and so on using this uh, expansion e power x by 5 into 1 this is considered as x 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube and so on into x. So we have expanded this by using binomial theorem. Now we neglect the terms from d square onwards because the degree of x is 1. So we have to neglect the terms from d square. Therefore e power x by 5. Now the remaining terms are 1 minus 4d by 5. Except these two terms, all the terms uh, which are having more than d square and d square from d square onwards, we neglect the terms. So, only the remaining terms are 1 minus 4d by 5 into x. Now, we distribute e power x by 5 into 1 into x is x minus 4 by 5, derivative of x is 1. So, we got e power x by 5 into x minus 4 by 5. This is the particular integral. Now coming to the general solution y is equal to yc plus yp. This is the complete solution. Therefore y is equal to we have uh, yc e power minus x into c1 cos x plus c2 sin x plus yp just now we got e power x by 5 into x minus 4 by 5 this is yc and this is yp total gives the general solution these problems are very important for bsc and msc students and also those students who are preparing for the entrance exams net and set jl and dl these problems help them very much so hope you understood this class thank you